Baltimore County Police have released body cam video of a shooting of a man they say is armed. It happened last week in Pikesville. ABC 2 News' Nakari Turner's live at County Police Headquarters in Towson tonight. Well, Jamie, the shooting happened Friday, and this is the first time you'll see vi video released from a Baltimore County Police shooting. And about that video, there's a warning. Some viewers may find it graphic. The shooting plays out across two videos recorded by officers responding to this apartment in Pikesville, the 4600 block of Deblin Circle. They were called there for a disturbance, and when they knock on the door, 48 year old Brian Palmer answers. Look again. Palmer answers the door shirtless and tells the officers it's time to die. Police say the object in his hand is a knife. Both officers retreat down the stairs before this. An officer identified by police only as a seven-year veteran with the last name Rimmers fires a single gunshot. It hits Palmer in the shoulder. One officer runs to his car for medical supplies, but not before Palmer is cuffed and questioned. Roll over on your left, sir. Where you hit? I don't know. All right. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. All right. Keep, what happened tonight, man? I keep hearing all these voices. They told it me. Okay. The video was the first since county police announced it this summer. At the program's unveiling, County Executive Kevin Kamenitz applauded its launch. Cameras will help in multiple ways by enhancing transparency, accountability, and trust. Though it's the first video released, it's not the first time since its launch that county police have fired at a suspect. In August, Corin Gaines, a 23-year-old mother, was shot and killed by county police. Her five-year-old son was also struck, but police say no officers on scene were equipped with body cameras. County police tonight declined to comment on our story. Palmer is expected to survive his injuries, though he's being held on nine different charges, including assault and possession of a dangerous weapon. The officer who fired that shot is on routine administrative leave. We're live from Baltimore County Police Headquarters tonight. I'm Dakari Turner, ABC2 News.